Hey friends, thanks for checking out this Week in Review. It is not Monday, but it is Thursday, and it's been a while, so we know that you're super excited to find out what's been going on in the lives of Eric and Leah, <laughs> Team Stelzer. Team Stelzer! I suppose to summarize the past month or two, the biggest thing is that God has been teaching us to follow His Spirit and to be Spirit-led yeah. in the prayers that we have, in the actions that we're taking, conversations that we're having, and oh my goodness, has it just been rewarding, and it has built our faith as we've prayed for things, and then He answers those prayers. We've been really specific about needs that we have, and He brings those things about. We've let followed his spirit in conversation in so many different ways and it comes about and that is just building our faith incredibly so as we seek him and we seek um his kingdom first he's just been leading us to pray for certain things and one of the things i mean there's a lot of things we've been praying for but one of the things is just favor in our community mm -hmm. right we have 352 apartments here and we just been like god can we just have favor amongst these people that we can build relationships in order that walls might be broken down and your good news might get to them. Mm -hmm. And so one of the prayers that he's answered is just the president of our HOA has asked if I would be a part of the board, which we're just like, what? Okay, and we were thinking about like potentially volunteering or how, how we wanted to be a part of that. But having him um, approach ask you. us and approach mm -hmm. me, we just think that's super awesome. So we're excited about that to be able to build more relationships mm -hmm. in our community and one of the ways that we're doing that is through these big barbecues that we're yeah thrown to and you guys know some about some of, a little bit about them yeah yeah and uh, we've been specific about this you that we referred to many times so we've now had two barbecues one was an actual barbecue and the other one was eric's amazing pizza super tasty so good Italy. Um, <laughs> and we've Not had really. like 15 to 20 people uh, come to each one of those and we have met new neighbors through mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So just from being out in the courtyard, again, we've had just families passing by and we're like hunting them down and like calling out to them and we've been able to connect with them that way. This most recent one, we actually met a new couple and then got to invite them over to our house. So we're again furthering and building that relationship. Um, we've had some other, we've had just like a bunch of people in our house yeah. the past couple weeks too. Um, and we've been over to some other people's houses as well. So mm -hmm. we went over to our neighbors right across and we were able to um, share a meal with them and they had their relatives over too. And we just, yeah. we're actually seeing like as these friendships build and these relationships build, like walls, as I said earlier, are breaking down and mm -hmm. gospel conversations are happening. Yeah. Like right, Leah just had her baby shower. Our next door neighbor came over. Mm -hmm. and, and we like, got to have great conversation about kind of her beliefs and her faith. And um, and we got to, sh I just got to share some of our thoughts too. And it was just a faith-based conversation, which was just really awesome. And so, you know, we meet people, we start to have these conversations. So what we're now projecting um, is we're asking God to direct us to who are the people, who are the families in our neighborhood yeah. that we would invite for a, what we, how Neighborhood Church started Sunday night dinner. Uh, so it's gonna be dinner and then we'll do Bible study after that. And, and so we're not exactly sure when that's going to launch, but we have like maybe four or five families that we know like, hey, if we ask them, and these people are far from God, but mm -hmm. we know that if we ask them, they'll be like, they love the community, we have a friendship there that they'll be like, yeah, we're in, and there's probably yeah. another five or six families um, that we'll invite to that we think might potentially yeah. join that. And so that's how, like Leah was saying, how Neighborhood Church started. It started with a potluck dinner, a Sunday night dinner with um, a Bible, like an hour of just eating, mm -hmm. hanging out, and then that was good. Of, that was super good. <laughs> and like an hour of Bible study. And so that's what we want to start inviting people in our community in downtown Overland Park into. And we're praying right now, God, who are those people? And we're also praying for a couple people that are more spiritually mature mm -hmm. that can come alongside of us and help. Because right now, maybe mm, three quarters or more of the people that we'd want to invite in are really far from God yeah. or maybe know a little bit about spirituality. So we're really, really excited for that and we're super pumped about what God is doing in our community. And we're hoping that even this opportunity being on the HOA board would just connect us with more people and yeah, get the word out. You know? Yeah, and that's been the highlight probably of our summer so yeah. far. It's connecting with these people and how just God is just Honestly, all I just keep saying is like, I see the spirit moving in our community yeah. and it is so exciting that God 
let's just be a part of it. It's yeah. really exciting. And then at Neighborhood Church too, though, just a quick update. Yeah. Like our numbers there, we started with 13, right? Okay, so we started two years, two and a half years ago with four adults, and we're at 113 yeah. people right now that are consistently coming through at Neighborhood Church. So we're still serving at Neighborhood Church. We're mm -hmm. just hoping to do Neighborhood Church and start that in another community. Yeah. So we started two and a half years ago with four people, Dave, Rivers, Joel, and then I showed up kind of at the end with the fourth, and we had a couple other families involved in. And so we invited, started inviting people. It started with that Sunday night dinner, that potluck, and now we're at a, a Sunday service with 113 consistent mm -hmm. people that are coming, maybe 15 or 20 other people coming. We've had 13 baptisms, mm -hmm. three more baptisms happening, happening next month. We are going to um, bring in two more leaders probably and um, some elders soon yeah. into our our family. So we're excited. super, super excited about that. And God is just continuing to grow us and we're still serving and loving Neighborhood Church and we're excited to, to see this multiply into other communities and churches be planted and people far from God meet Jesus. And so that's kind of our week in review, but more like our month in review, <laughs> <or> <laughs> month and a half in review. But we're gonna get back on this and we hope to put these out every Monday. Um, we got big <laughs> coming as well, so we're super excited about that. Thank you guys all for your prayers and your support. We love you guys and um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, bye, see you soon. Grace and peace. And yes, Eric did tell you the name of our baby. Did I? He did. He did, he told you. Right now, just on this video, he's telling you the name of our baby. Oh, crud. Yeah. Sh should we post this? No.